Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this video. In this one, uh, oh, hello, hi, I hope you're well. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude. Um, uh, in this video, we're doing some glitch effects. We're gonna do a glitch effect on a picture like this. And we're also gonna do some glitch on text like uh, this. Okay, so a couple things we gotta set up first. Let's get into Affinity. And the first thing we're gonna do, I got this model here. Now, the first thing we need to do is add the shear tool. Now, um, it's one of these tools that's it's not showing by default, so we're gonna add it. So, to do that, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go up to, let me just find it, because now I can't find it. There we go. We're gonna go up to view in your top toolbar there, and we're gonna go to customize tools. Now, there's all these crazy tools in here. I don't know if you know that they're here. I don't use a lot of them, but there's some cool ones in here, but we're looking for the shear tool, which is this one right here. And all you have to do is click on it, drag it, and just drop it somewhere in your tool menu. So uh, now it appears in your tools menu. In the previous version, it was in the filters menu. Now it's not there. Anyways, now my shear tool is now added to my toolbar. So when I'm done that, I can just hit close. And now I have the shear tool, if you put your mouse over top of it, in my tools menu. All right, are we, are we good? Are we following? Perfect. Okay, now I got this model here. And the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the picture. So a couple different ways you can do it. The easiest way on a Mac is hit option, click and drag. On a PC, you would hold alt, click and drag, and that will duplicate the layer. Um, you can also hit uh, command J on a Mac or control J on a PC. Um, yeah, lots of ways to do things. Okay, so we got two models. I'm gonna call this uh, the top model. America's next top model and then just uh, not America's next top model. Okay, okay, that works. Okay, so uh, first thing we are going to do is we are going to select the top layer. So this top model up here, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is go to my channels panel right here. Now, if you don't see your channels panel, what you wanna do is go up to window and make sure channels right here is selected. Okay, so now that I've got this selected, your channels basically are your red, your green, your blue, your RGB. And what we're gonna do is select the red one. So when we click on that, you're gonna see all these little eyes here disappear and only this one is lit up. So it's just selected the red channel right now. So now that we have that selected, we're gonna go over to our shear tool from our tools, which we just selected, and we're gonna click on that. We're gonna get this little shear box that pops up. And all we're gonna do is just bump this over slightly to, let's say to the right. And he's gonna get a little funky here. So he's just gone slightly to the right. That's good, we're gonna hit apply. Now we're gonna hit this little reset button in the top right of our channels here, right over here. We're gonna click on this guy here. And when we do that, you can already see there's a bit of a glitch effect going. So it's, you can see this, the channel's been separated, it's moved a little bit, and now we have a bit of a glitch effect. Perfect. So now we're gonna go and click on the green channel right here. So now the green channel is just selected, you can see by the eye. We're gonna go back to the shear tool right here, and we're gonna bump this guy a little to the left, just slightly, maybe like that. And we're gonna hit apply, and then we're gonna go back to our reset button in the top right of the channels panel. And now you can see we got a pretty cool glitch effect going on. So we'll go back to our layers panel now, and we still have our two layers. This one on the top is the one that's affected, and the one below is the original, not America's Next Top Model is the original. And now we're just gonna add one more thing to make this look uh, a little more real. So with the top layer selected, what I'm going to do is go up to my selection tools here, and I'm gonna pick the rectangular marquee tool. I'm gonna click on that. And once I do that, I'm gonna make sure up in the top left corner here, I'm gonna select add. So these two boxes together. So make sure you select add here. Um, and then I am just going to draw out boxes, little squares here, little rectangles around him, because these are gonna be our little glitch boxes. Maybe something like this and this. There's no wrong answer here. Let's draw a few of these things out like this, maybe like that. And now that I've done that, I've got all these boxes selected. All I'm gonna do is go up to my move tool. So you can hit V on your keyboard or select it here. And then you can just move these boxes to the right or the left. I'm gonna move them this way a little bit. Maybe like that. And then I'm gonna hit uh, Command D on my Mac or Control D on your PC to deselect. And now you can see we got this cool glitch effect. Now the only thing I'm gonna do on this picture is you can see on the left and right on the bottom here, there is, um, you can see where it's it's separated because it's gone off the canvas when we did the um, the shear. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is just go to my crop tool right here. 
a C on your keyboard. And when this pops up, they give you these boxes where you can just basically, I'm gonna move this guy over here, move this guy over here, just to get that glitch out of the way, hit enter. And then we've got a perfectly glitched America's Next Top Model. Fantastic. That wasn't so bad, right? Okay, so next up, we're gonna work on some text. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's work on some text here. We're gonna do this one a little bit different. So I have a black background. It seems to work the best. It'll work on any background, but black really seems to pop. So I've got a black background here, a black fill. And if you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna erase that. What you're gonna do is go up to layer, new fill layer. And by default, it might be white. And in the top left corner, right corner, I'm sorry, you can just change it to black. So I got a black background. Now I'm gonna go to my text tool over here in the uh, my tools menu here. And I'm just gonna type the word warning. And I'm gonna make it white to begin with. So I got this text and I just picked this bold text because it looks a little bit better. So now that I have warning selected here in my layers panel, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this. So again, you on a Mac, you can hit option click or alt click on a PC. I'm gonna do it three times or two times. So I have three of them. So I have three copies here, three white copies. Now the second one, I'm gonna turn the top layer off. On the second layer, I'm gonna make it red, okay? And I'm gonna turn that one off. And on my third layer here, which is turned on, I'm gonna make it this uh, blue. So now I have a white, uh, a red, and a blue. So white, a red, and a blue. Okay, so um, now that we have all three of these, what I'm gonna do is click on the red one in my layers panel, and I'm just gonna move this one slightly to the right, like so. I'm gonna click on the blue one, and I'm gonna move it slightly to the left, like so. So it already looks kind of glitchy-ish just because it's kind of, uh, I don't know, optical illusion. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Okay. So what I'm going to do to select all of them is I'm going to um, top, uh, click on the top one. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and click on the bottom one. So it selects all three. I'm going to right click them and I'm going to hit group. So they all become one big group. Now that they're a group, I'm going to right click on them again. And I'm going to say rasterize. And when I do that, all of these become one uh, one layer now. So now that they're all one layer, um, what I want to do is I want to duplicate it. So again, we can option drag click on a uh, Mac or we can alt drag click on a PC. So now I have two copies again. I got two copies. I'm going to click on the top copy. And the same thing, we're going to do the same thing as we did last time with the uh, rectangular marquee tool. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to select rectangular. I'm going to make sure add is selected in the top left corner here, the add button. And then I'm just going to, again, draw out some boxes here. Draw out some boxes. And the reason we're keeping two copies is if if I made this selection, these boxes, and then I move them, you'd see the black background, which we don't exactly want. So um, that's why we do it. Always going to make a copy of your uh, um, original anyways, just in case. So I'm just taking a couple random boxes here. Cool. So I got some boxes selected. I'm on the top layer. I'm going to go back to my move tool. You can hit V on your keyboard or select it up here. And then I'm just going to move this one slightly to the right or maybe to the left. Let's go to the left. Like, mm, yeah, that works. I'm going to hit command D or control D to deselect. And now we have this glitchy looking text. Looks kind of cool. What I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to see if this works. If I don't, maybe I'll just edit it out and you'll never know this happened. I'm going to go to the bottom layer. Okay. And what I'm going to do is go to my effects panel at the bottom of my layers panel. And I'm going to put a blur on this, a Gaussian blur, a Gaussian blur, whatever they say. I'm going to try a bit of a blur just to see what it does. Yes. I like this. So now I'm just adding again, just not too much. You don't want to like this. I'm just going to add a bit of a blur. I'm at like uh, eight pixels right now, just to make it a little bit. Yeah. Maybe like, maybe like, mm, I like that. I'm going to go to 9.8 pixels. Okay. I'm very specific. So now I have this text. Now, one final thing to make it really cool is the link is uh, the downloads in the um, description down below. Uh, I have this glitch effect here um, and I'm going to turn it on. When I turn it on, it looks like this, which isn't very helpful, is it? So what we have to do is we're going to go to from normal. We're going to change the blend mode down to screen. And now you can see it looks like it's part of the screen, this glitchy text and this glitchy um, uh, background. And I mean, let me see if I turn this down. Does this make sense? I'm gonna, you know what? The top layer here, just to spice it up a little, I'm gonna take the top layer and I'm gonna bring the opacity down a little bit, just so it looks a little bit blurry and a little bit kind of uh, a little bit more realistic. Let's do let's do that. 
So uh, that is some glitchy text and that is a glitchy model. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you like the video, why don't you just tap, tap, tap that like button because it helps me so much. And if you've never seen my videos before and you said, wow, what a generous gift this YouTuber, this classic YouTuber has provided me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe, enrich my life. Uh, well, that'd be fantastic. We'll be best friends. We'll go for coffee. We'll read each other's journals. We'll tell each other's aspirations and dreams. Uh, okay, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.